Super Kai fans, we are back with Season 6, Part 2. We got five episodes left to go. We don't know have a release date as of the filming of this video. But man, these might have been some of the five best episodes yet of Cobra Kai. And in a way, it feels like it is the Empire Strikes Back of Cobra Kai. And specifically, this whole season is very much played out in that way. Like, the first five episodes were a nice setup. Enjoyable. Some of the worst aspects of Cobra Kai, but still enjoyable, fun, nice build up to this world, some of the events of what will be happening in this season, and of course what's going on with the characters, and that's like the new hope for, you know, Cobra Kai. These five episodes are like The Empire Strikes Back. Th this was phenomenal. I I'm like flabbergasted. Now, hi guys, my name is Zach. Thank you so much for clicking on this. This will be a non-spoiler review for part two of Cobra Kai Season 6, which is available to watch right now. You are safe. Again, I'm not going to spoil anything. I will be pretty safe when it comes down to spoilers. I don't want to spoil anything that may ruin your enjoyment for the series. But definitely go check out the new episodes because I, I was just, I came away with like such a visceral reaction. I genuinely got goosebumps. My wife was watching it next to me. She has never watched anything of Cobra Kai, and she was even getting into it, which says a lot. So I'm very excited to talk about these brand new episodes. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below, hit that like and subscribe button, and without further ado, let's dive into my pros. Now, reviewing this is a little bit hard because I haven't seen the last final five episodes, and I said the same thing when I reviewed the first five episodes. It's hard to review until I get the entire picture, so... For this review, it's genuinely going to be more of a reaction to everything that's kind of gone on and a little bit more rambled and with so many different thoughts of particularly what's been happening. And, you know, with the first five episodes, I enjoyed them. I just wish it was a little bit more. But, the you know, the final twist of Tori joining Cobra Kai again, you know, that got me go, oh, shit, I need the next five episodes now. And the way that this one ends, if you thought you needed the next five after that cliffhanger, let me tell you, the, the, the final five minutes of this episode blew my mind away i mean i'm i'm literally like gibberish i'm, I'm rambling i'm i'm like uh speechless in a sense like of what they actually did and it really ties back to a lot of different avenues of la russo storyline specifically this season with mr miyagi which i thought paid off greatly and i still think there's some things there too that are lingering that i'm excited to see how it goes about but there are certain things that the creatives did here that I'm so fascinated to see what the fan base thinks. It all is in the last episode. So when you're commenting, please let me know down below. You will know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes down to the Mr. Miyagi stuff. I loved it. I thought it was such a cool and unique thing to do. Alongside that the way that the story just progressed, I thought was fantastic. I say that as someone that's kind of been eh, a little bit oh, eh, about the storyline as a whole until this season. I think the last little bit of this season, the last five episodes really helped. And I think Ralph Macchio's performance also really doubles down on this. And same thing goes for William Zapica, who, which I might be mispronouncing that. William's like been such a top tier of this. He is my favorite character. Him and Tori Nichols are my favorite characters in this series uh, right there with me, Gail Diaz. And I think for me, like what they do with William specifically as having to be a father to two different people on their team and also trying to find that and strike that balance. It's been nice to see him grow up into the person that he is now. And I think he has done a phenomenal job this season. There's there's one episode particular though that while I liked the context and it was a really good discussion that needed to happen with Miguel, I didn't like the context of how it overall worked. It, it felt a little bit cheesy, and I know the whole series is cheesy, but it kind of just went into that different realm. We'll talk a little bit about that in my issues. But speaking of Miguel, Sholo is fantastic as well. I, I think he's great. I think he has some awesome action sequences in here. I think Courtney Henninger, who plays Amanda, Amazing. Uh, Tanner Buckingham, awesome as Robbie Keen. I mean, you can really just go down the entire list of all this. Mary Mauser as Samantha, Jacob Bertrand as Eli, Peyton Liss as Tori Nichols. And of course, you get down to Martin Cove as John Kreese, who is just phenomenal. And even some newer faces specifically in here, too, that really pop up. Like every single kid just really comes to play in here. And same with the adults, of course. But it's really engaging to see all that happen. And speaking of engaging, the action is off the charts fucking awesome in this season. 
Like, truly enough, like, we've seen some badass moments in Cobra Kai. Like, straight up. Like, the final fight in Season 5, I, that was, like, one of my favorite moments in, in general. There are two sequences in this season alone that might take the top three best moments of Cobra Kai ever. And you can really tell that the creators knew. This is our final season. We are going all out. And not even just in like when I talk about top three moments of Cobra Kai, one of them is a strict action sequence, which is just pure fucking great. But another one's like this awesome montage sequence, which just is perfect. Like I compare montage sequences to Rocky montage sequences because Rocky has the best montage sequences of all time. And uh, when you want a training montage, you need something like that. And I think Cobra Kai finally accomplished something that's like to that level. And it, it, again, it just gets me hyped and it builds up a lot of the avenue till you get to this final fight sequence, which is off the charts. Like, it's like, I don't even, I don't want to like overblow it of how huge it is. But like, for me, this is like the battle of the bastards or like the battle of the night King uh, from game of Thrones. Not obviously in that, that big of scale because that was so huge. But like in terms of Cobra Kai, it's the biggest battle that they've had yet. And it's fucking awesome. It is so awesome and it's so top tier and the payoff to that fight sequence is fantastic. The usage of everyone's martial arts skills is phenomenal. And again, just got me excited. Like you were just seeing my visceral reaction. I just finished the damn show. Like I literally just finished it about like five minutes ago before hitting play. And it, it, it's, it's amazing. And again, like I mentioned, the way that it ends just... I have to see the next five episodes like right away. Like I really hope Netflix once the season actually comes out because I'm recording this a couple days ahead of time. I really hope they announce like a release date of when we'll get, be able to get the CDs because we need it now, boys. We need it now. So with that said, a couple issues I have. Let, let's get the couple issues out of the way. Because for the most part, I love this little five episodes. I think the storylines were pretty much solid for the most part. Action was top tier. The payoff in a lot of moments, specifically the Mr. Miyagi storyline, I think all works. And I really, again, like seeing these characters all come together. As for issues, some things are a little bit repetitive. Um, melodramatic with the teenagers, melodrama with the adults, which I always think is just so funny that like their petty grievances is the reason that uh, so much of the shit is just going down in like the most ludicrous ways and we don't need to. But sometimes it gets a little bit eye-rolling and... I think that's always been Cobra Kai, but if it's been grating on you, it, it may worsen for you here. On top of that, like as a next piece, just, just to kind of throw that out there, this is definitely more of an action heavy five episodes. Um, some of the storylines aren't as strong. And again, I, I feel like they're pretty repetitive and I can see that like some people watching this review and being like, I don't understand your hype. Like, yeah, the action's cool, but like everything else a little bit boring. I'm a I'm a person who wants payoff. I felt like I got the payoff from the first five episodes. And I think if you watch it back to back, it's a better fluing, like flowing season compared to if you just watch it, like watch the first part and then like go a couple months, obviously, and just watch the second part. I think you might come away being like, eh, okay. But with that said, I'll, I'll end the review here. Uh, Cobra Kai season six, part two is awesome. I think they, the creators are really going to nail the finale. I have no idea what direction they're going to go, like genuinely. There's some guesses I have, but I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. But overall, that's why I'm going to give Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 2 an A-. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below your guys' thoughts. And of course, until next time, stay classy.